Hi guys, Matt here. Tonight I'm going to talk about one of the most important videos I'll probably ever make, and that's called two-factor authentication. This is the number one way right now to secure your online accounts. So Gmail, you know, uh, Facebook, anything you can think of. If you have an online account, they should offer two-factor authentication. So I'm going to try to um, do this tutorial um, with a throwaway account that I have. And I already have two-factor two authentication enabled on my main Gmail account, so I hope it doesn't interfere with this uh, little tutorial. So right now I have a Gmail account. It is just secured by a password. That means if anyone guesses my password, they can just jump right in, do whatever the hell they want, wreck my life. Scary. Two-factor authentication prevents all of that. So let's open up a new tab. Let's secure this account, this Google account. We'll try. Hold on. So Google.com. I'll say Google. Two-factor. Just right there. Google two-factor. All right. Perfect. Google two-step verification. You want to make sure you hit this URL right here. Google.com landing two-step. Let's go ahead and uh, get started. We're going to add an extra layer of security. The most important thing you can do, if you sign up for something online right now, you better make sure you have two-factor authentic authentication enabled. All right, let me try to log in real quick. I changed the password. I might need to pause this. Hang on. Type it sideways, too. Oh, I hate this stupid mic. i got to get a new mic. All right, cool. I'll save that. All right, what phone number do I want to use? I'll type in my phone number. My phone number is all over the internet, so it's not like I'm giving anything away. How do I want to get my codes? How do I want to get my passcodes when I want to sign in? Um, text message would be great. All right, they're going to send me a code right now to my phone. I just got it. Nine, six, one. Two, six, one. All right, next. All right, now that we've seen how it works, do you want to turn two-step authentication, verification on for your Google account? Just this account right here. Turn it on. Perfect. All right. So it's on. So basically, anytime anyone in the world tries to sign on to my Gmail account, they have to have my phone in their hand. They have to have my phone that receives a text message. Otherwise, they can't log in and wreck my life. Get it? All right. So some other little things. <clears throat> this kind of stuff you're going to want to go ahead and read. It's a, it's a whole lot of junk, but... Go ahead and get your back, backup codes. Make sure you print these out. Put them away. Put them in a folder somewhere in your house. Okay. Get this on your phone, the Authenticator app. It sucks. It's got a lot of uh, issues. Let's say that you have a, let's see, I came from a uh, iPhone 6. And I went from, uh, yeah, an iPhone, uh, iPhone 6 to an iPhone 7. None of my uh, two-factor authentications moved when I upgraded my phone, so this is a big deal right now. Um, kind of a, it's it's like all they really have, but it's necessity. I don't really know how to explain it, but just go ahead and do it. Just if you if you're gonna upgrade your phone, make sure you have your old phone with you so you can set up all your two steps later. Don't even worry about what I just said for the last. <laughs> for the last 20 seconds unless you're going to upgrade your phone i'm sorry i'm just dealing with something i dealt with last week all right so you can set that up we're not going to right now but this is in the, something you would put on your phone uh go ahead and add a backup phone and if you want to get really fancy go ahead and buy a security key all right so that is two-factor authentication let me sum it up again really quick they send you an email saying it's turned on. 
anytime anyone in the world tries to sign on to my Gmail account, I will receive a text message to my phone. They need to have that text message to get in. If they don't have it, they're not getting in. So most accounts that you sign up with um, right now, they all feature two-factor authentication. It's a pain in the ass, but you got to do it. Definitely do it. Otherwise, you could lose your ass. I had a friend tonight. The reason I'm making this this video is he had about $3,000 in Bitcoin. He didn't have two-factor authentication enabled. Somebody guessed his password. They withdrew all $3,000 in Bitcoin. He's out. So had he had two-factor authentication enabled, he'd be $3,000 richer. So... All right, short video. I, I hope that I explained it. If I didn't, I'll do another one. Just let me know. Talk to you guys later.